Yo, what is everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to edit audio in Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see right here, this is basically a final edit for one of my videos called the Echo Trails Effect. The one thing to keep in mind is I'm currently using the Blue Yeti mic. I think it costs about $150. And one thing to keep in mind if you've never used um, this mic before is you want to make sure you turn the gain down a lot because it picks up a lot of background noise. So if the gain is not pretty low, you're going to have a whole bunch of background noise in your voiceover. So just make sure you turn the, the gain uh, slider down pretty low so you avoid any background noise. Another thing I like to do is I like to fade audio in and out right here. So you can see right here with the music track right here, I basically hover until I see this icon right here and then I'll fade the audio. So I'll just drag it out here. I'll fade the audio out and then vice versa. I'll fade the audio in. This just creates a much better seamless transition for the music. That way the music doesn't just stop and start. You want to kind of fade the music in and out because again, it'll create a more seamless transition. So I want to go over first of all, decibels or levels. So this right here, the intro music right here, I set at negative four decibels. This outro music right here, I set at negative 3.5 decibels. So I would say maybe around negative four, negative 4.5 decibels is pretty good for kind of just normal music because you don't want it to start peaking. While on the other hand, this background music right here, I have it set to about negative 38 decibels. Again, I would say around negative 40 is probably good. I would never go above negative 35 with background music because you're gonna it's gonna start interfering with the person talking. But of course, like anything, um, that's all a personal preference. I would also wanna go over um, markers right here. Now I just play this marker right here. Just go ahead and press M on the keyboard. And then I just change the chapter right there. And basically what that does is it just signifies where the jump cuts are right here. As you can see, there's a jump cut right here, a jump cut right here, and then a jump cut right there. You don't have to do that, but I find that to be really helpful just to identify that's not where like I made a cut, that's where I actually made a jump cut. So I don't know, that's just something that I do to just help me to identify where the actual jump cuts are, and also so they don't get in the way of other markers. That's just what I do, you don't have to do that. Another thing I like to do is I'll click on the audio right here, and I'll go over here to a channel EQ, or I'll go over here and then type in channel EQ, or compressor so what I'll do is I'll head over here to the audio icon right here and then I'll add a channel EQ right here this is basically a subtractive channel EQ so I'll turn this frequency all the way down and this frequency all the way down and then I'll go with this frequency this frequency this frequency you don't have to copy the exact settings but what I just did was I, I brought this all the way up and then I just did what's called a sweep and then I found where there's like really annoying frequencies or really annoying whistles just basically really just annoying frequencies so I, I, kinda did, I brought that all the way up swept through until I found the annoying frequency and then I just dropped it down to isolate that frequency to get rid of it and I had the frequency at about negative 12 um, right there turned all the way down um, to negative 12 another thing that I did was I added a compressor right here as you can see right here here's a compressor right there and then here are all the settings the threshold I set see if it'll activate the threshold right here but the threshold there you go the ratio is at 3.1 the threshold is at negative um, 18.5 the makeup it's at negative 3 the release is at 9 the attack is at 3 and the knee is at 1 and then I just you can just copy all these settings I think for the most part there's, there's the default I just basically mess with these settings right here and basically what a compressor does is it just basically um, it basically just increases the volume of like, the quiet parts without increasing the part the parts of the loud parts so you can kind of hear the, the the quiet parts too without increasing the loud parts so it just basically helps balance out the levels now I also added this channel EQ right here where I just increase this frequency right here this frequency right here and this frequency it just helps sound the just makes the audio sound um, a lot richer now one thing I did too or one thing you can do I actually don't really use this but I've, I've heard that this is also a really good plugin the noise gate plugin um, right here I've heard this is a really good plugin um, for getting rid of background noise so I'll go and just apply it right here I personally don't use it so I can't you know give my recommendation on it but I believe in what I've heard this is a pretty good um, effect to get rid of background noise I again like I said before I personally don't use it um, but you could definitely use it and see if it works. I also noise removal right here. I found this um, also works. Um, again, you can't really get rid of all the background noise, but this paired with the noise gate 
um, can definitely help get rid of a whole bunch of you know annoying um, audio just basically annoying background noise another thing too to keep in mind you can click on this icon right here and you want to make sure the levels are between negative 6 and negative 12 decibels now my audio is going to be a little bit lower than normal just because I talk a little quieter but as you can see this is kind of where my levels are right here it's definitely you know a little quieter than normal but you want your your levels to be negative 6 negative 12 you want your levels to be somewhere in this range um, right here that's just uh, highly recommended and I would just do that. Other thing you can do too is you can click on the audio, right click on it, and you can go ahead and click on detach audio right there. You can actually detach the audio from your voiceover right here. So if you wanna just edit the audio and you don't want to it actually affect the visuals, that's one way of doing it. I don't find myself doing that a lot, but there are definitely a time and place, especially I think if you want to do like J and L cuts, that's one way to do it. It's not called unlinking audio, it's called detach audio. I think it's called unlink in Premiere Pro, but in Final Cut Pro 10, um, it's just called the like detaching audio, uh, or just detaching audio effect. Another thing you can do is you can actually create your own audio presets. So we're just gonna click on where we edited the audio right here. Let's just say we edited the audio right here. You can actually go over here so you can see right here, here is a channel EQ, here's a compressor, and here's a channel EQ. And then I and then what you want to do is you want to head over to save effects presets right there. So just save effects presets, name whatever you want put it into whatever category you want. I'll just put it into Apple and then boom, you can go ahead and click save. So the category was an Apple, so category Apple right here. So let's head over to the effects panel right here. As you can see, here's the audio. Let's scroll down to the Apple section right here. And as you can see, voila, voiceover right there. So there's our voiceover preset right there. So if you wanna do that, I highly encourage you, especially if you're gonna be recording with the same mic in the same room, definitely ha definitely create a preset. I just created a preset, I just called it a voiceover preset. So all I gotta do, um, save it to effects preset, and then check which ones you want. Obviously, you're probably gonna wanna have all of them checked right there. Click save, and there you go. You create your own audio preset. Just as simple as that. And that's pretty much it when it comes to um, editing my audio right there. All you want to do is make sure you fade audio in and out. You want to adjust the uh, decibels just to make sure your audio um, isn't peaking. Background music, negative 38. And then just normal music, I would go around negative 3.5 um, to negative 4. You could uh, uh, save your own effects preset. As you can see right here, here is a channel EQ. Just get rid of those annoying frequencies. I have a compressor just to get rid of... Just to, just to basically boost the volume so the volume you know isn't too quiet you want to be careful how much you boost it because you don't want to start boosting a whole bunch of background noise and then just kind of increase these frequencies right here just to help make the audio sound a lot richer make sure nothing's peaking and it's pretty much as simple as that it definitely takes a long time to edit audio to really make it sound good and of course don't copy every setting that I have because the room I record in is different my voice is different than yours my microphone is probably different than yours but there's hopefully one or two of these these things can definitely help your audio sound a lot better. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern at Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, the Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 180 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.